Yo, what is up guys? Mace here, back with another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this. I'm an asshole, and I think she like that. All over my text with brains, I like that. Baby, I'm an asshole. Okay, so like you saw in the little clip right there, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a beat, uh, this little beat shake with a good build up. I'm gonna have the presets in the description below in a Google Drive. This tutorial is for Premiere Pro only. Shout out to Jalapeno VFX for requesting this tutorial. And uh, make sure to go so to him. But um, yeah, you're gonna, so to start off, you're gonna wanna get a song and a clip. And um, you're just gonna wanna find every single beat where you're gonna want the beat shake. So um, I'm gonna start a time lapse and just mark all your beats. Okay, so once you're done marking all your beats, you're gonna wanna sync it with um, the song. You wanna sync your clip with the song. So what we're gonna wanna do, you're just gonna find where the shot hits, and you can tell when the shot hits when this blue pops up or this red on your reticle pops up and that's when the shot hits or you can also do when the numbers pop up i just like to do when the blue shows so you're gonna press m to place a marker and you're just gonna want to line it up with the beat that you want um you're just gonna line it up with the beat that you want to sync with so it looks like this i'm an asshole and i think she like that all over my text with brains i like that baby you're my asshole so as you can tell, it's synced, but it doesn't look very good. So, cause there's like a lot of beats in the song, so it looks good with obviously um, some stuff. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to go over to like this, um, where your media is, and you're just gonna go down here, you're gonna press this new item and choose adjustment layer. Choose um, your settings and stuff. Press okay, and you're just gonna drag it in. Okay, so you're gonna go to start, you're gonna go to the start of the adjustment layer. It doesn't really matter where it is yet. And you're just going to go 15 frames to the right, and then that's how long you're going to make it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So right here, so I'm just going to drag it, and now it's 15 frames long. And then we're going to do, the presets will be in the description, by the way. Uh, you're going to look up Mace Screen Pump. Uh, and you're going to import it. To import it, you just right-click on this presets, import presets, and then it'll import. You're just going to drag this Mace Screen Pump onto the clip. And then now, make sure you have the snap. Make sure you have snapping on. So it's just this magnet tool. You can press S to enable it. And then also when you're uh, gonna like add it, you can hold Shift if you want to make it snap. Actually, no, don't hold Shift. So you're just gonna snap it uh, with each marker. So we're gonna do that. And to duplicate the clip, you're just gonna hold Alt and drag, and then it'll make a duplicate. And then just put it on every single one of your beats. Okay, so I'm done. And for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna put uh, the beat shake also on the kill to make a little impact. But after you add the beat shake, it should look like this. I'm an asshole, and I think she like that. All over my text with brains, I like that. Baby, I'm an asshole. Okay, but what you wanna do, um, after you do all your beat shakes, you're gonna wanna do a Twixter slow-mo. Uh, I'll have it in the description. And uh, you're just gonna find where you pull out your gun, your shotgun. And then you're just gonna split it right on the clip. And then you're gonna want to uh, nest the clip. So right click and press nest. Then you're just gonna add Twixter Pro. And then I'll show you how to sync it and everything. So you're just gonna add a, go to the first frame where your shotgun's pulled out. Uh, you're gonna uh, keyframe the speed. And then you're gonna go all the way to where the shot hits. You're gonna add a keyframe. Then you're gonna go five frames to the right and add another keyframe. And then go another five frames and add a keyframe. And after that, go back to the shot and you're just gonna have to add one more keyframe, just one more frame to the left. Okay, so go to the shot, change the speed to 500. You're gonna go to the keyframe before it, change it to 35, and then go to the first keyframe, uh, change it to 35, and then uh, it's almost synced, so then this keyframe right here, the one after the 500, you're gonna change that to 200. And then you're gonna change this speed right here to the last keyframe to 50, not 550. And then uh, you may have to adjust the keyframes a bit. So if you have to do so, um, 
Let's see, I'm gonna try to get it good. I think like right there looks good, so let's see. Hey, and that's some pretty good Twixter velocity. Okay, so once you're done with the Twixter, you are going to want to drag in the last preset. And it is going to be um, a build-up. You're just going to find the where the shot hits. By the way, you're going to have to resync. So just find where the shot hits and just resync it so it'll look godly. Trust me. Okay, so now it's synced. Now you're going to do is you're going to split right on the shot. So it's right here. And you're just going to split it. To split it, you just uh, press C to bring out the cut tool. Or you can press Control K. Um, and then you're just going to add in the preset again to import. If you forgot, uh, right click on this presets thing. Uh, press import presets and then find the preset. Uh, and you're going to look up sick build up. And that's what it's called. I use this a lot and it's super cool. Baby, I'm an asshole. then um you can also if you want you can remove this uni glow it is a bit bright if you don't want it uh that bright you can also change the threshold and stuff if you don't want it so bright so i'm going to change this to like 80 threshold instead of 50 and then it's not so bright and it looks like this yeah and now the last thing we need is impact so just look up absolutely insane impact. You're gonna have to import that again, by the way. And it's, it's a super good impact. Uh, it does it's not? You're not gonna see that. Um, you can change the color of the tritone. I'm gonna change the tritone to purple. You also don't need the tritone. Um, I'm just gonna change the mix with source like 0.4 instead because it's super bright. And then uh, I'm just gonna drag this keyframe so it lasts to the end. But basically, this is what you should have once you're done. I'm an asshole, and I think she liked that. All over my text with press. I like that. Baby, I'm an asshole. Oops, it needs to render. But it's super good impact, super good build up. And then for sound effects, um, I'll have a sound effect linked in the description. It's going to be called Shotgun SFX. And you're just going to drag that in. And you're going to try to sync it. Just try to, just try to uh, sync it up a little bit. This is what it should look, sound like. Hey, baby, I'm asshole, but, I think she like but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you need any help, DM me on Discord or, um, just put it down in the comments below if you need any help. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace. Yeah. 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 Yeah.